I've owned my Cobra for about a month now, and there are three things that shock me that I hate about this car, and three things that surprise me that I absolutely love about it. So I'll tell you about those. We're gonna start with the things I hate. It's not the speed. Let's start with the first thing that I hate about my Cobra, and that is if you are a perfectionist, you're gonna hate all of the imperfections. Now keep in mind, these are handmade cars. Every single one of them is handmade differently. So you'll have panels like on the hood, for example, that start out flush, and then the gap just gets thicker and thicker, almost where your finger can fit directly inside. Um, you'll have your door panel, which almost looks like it doesn't even fit and do not bother looking underneath the dash it's obvious there are just some areas that are not put you know they, they just did not put enough attention to and some areas that they did and remember it is a composite body so there will be panels that are thicker and some areas that are thinner even though they're along the same panel um, so it's just something you have to get used to remember these are made individually each one so you'll find one maybe that is nearly perfect but it's just something that comes with a handmade car so be prepared for that the second thing that I hate about my Cobra is the lack of interior storage. Now when I say lack of, I mean there is practically zero. There is no center console. There is no uh, glove compartment. Now remember, some builds have these things. Some people put cup holders. Some people have that. Mine did not. So if that's important to you, make sure you find one that has some interior storage. All I get are these little curtains on the side of the doors where you can maybe put some paperwork. But I wouldn't, I mean, if you're going to park this ever, in public you can't even put anything important in there anybody can just walk in and pull it out now the third thing that I hate about my Cobra and that is the thing I hate the most about this car so far is the impracticality of it now of course that's expected when you get a car like this but what I mean is I sometimes I can't even take it to a car show I'll give you a perfect example a couple of weeks ago was uh, Carol Shelby's 100th birthday so the Peterson Museum in LA was holding a Shelby cruise in I reserved a spot that morning it started raining so I had to sit in the garage and wait and see if the rain doesn't clear I simply cannot go there's a lot of car cruises that go up for hours on PCH it's a lot of fun it could be a three-day cruise this is something that I always wanted to do I can participate in them because there's just if there's any kind of inclement weather whatsoever I have to pass now especially if you live in an area that you know depending on the seasonality if you have snow you might not be able to drive this for months at a time I'm lucky enough in LA generally I'll always be able to drive it we're just in those few months where it's gonna rain and it's gonna be really cold all right, now let's get into the three things that I absolutely love about this Cobra. The first of which being how easy it is to keep clean and to detail. Now keep in mind how small this car is and, and generally you're driving it maybe once a week if that. Every time I pull it out, I do a quick little detail that takes less than five minutes and it, it just never really gets a chance to get dirty because every time you take it out, it's gonna be in amazing weather, especially here in Los Angeles, the sun is out. So that's something I love always having a clean car and it's so easy to do so now the second thing that I absolutely that was a Hollywood tour bus they love this thing every time I'm up here they love it now the second thing that I love about my Cobra although I complained about the lack of interior storage space the trunk is plentiful there's plenty of space in there you just have the battery all the way in the back other than that there's plenty of space to keep it's always good to have a nice big jacket in there some detail products anything else but you do have a really usable trunk that has a lock now the third thing that I absolutely love about my Cobra and this is the thing I love the most about it so far is everybody knows what it is you can take it to your grandma's house and she knows what it is because it's from a an older era and it's so iconic for that time you could take it to you know where there's children and they've seen it in movies there are documentaries about this car anyone who's slightly interested in cars knows the racing history I love that dynamic because kids come up and ask if they can take photos of the car get in the car all of that and I was once that kid so I love when that happens um, it's very fun going to car shows with it because again it is so recognizable and see anyone like that's a gardener just standing on the side of the road at someone's house they always say hi and anyone with a cool car that passes by will always you know give you the, the the peace and it's just a blast driving something that has such a history and such heritage that's my favorite favorite thing about this car now the question comes to it who is this car for who should buy this car and I'll tell you 
if you are on the fence about getting this car, it's probably not for you. This is a car you have to know that you badly want and you're willing to overlook all of the inconveniences that come with it, which are a lot of them. So this, I mean, to put it into other words, this is not the wife, this is the mistress, okay? And the mistress does something that the wife cannot. So you have to be willing to get a car knowing you're gonna put up with a lot of headaches, but it will put a hell of a smile on your face. We have a little open road here. Holy crap. You see, wife, I don't think wife can do that. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful to you in any way, do me a favor, hit me with the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you